What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today we're going to learn on how to make a basic ragdoll into your character. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to be using the default mannequin for Unreal Engine 5. So if we go into um, characters, mannequins and rigs, we can see that there's a physics asset. So if we go ahead and open it, we can see that um, there's like some uh, colliders attached to each bone. Basically, when you import any character with a skeleton, this should create. If not, you can create it by going on here and just go ahead and search physics asset and then you will sign your skeleton. But if I go here up here and say simulate, you can see a preview of the ragdoll and how it would look. So, when you import your character, if you're using any other one, if you're using this one, all the bones are going to be perfectly placed, like all the collider, so the ragdoll should be nice. But it might be the case that your, you know, your character kind of bugs a lot because it's not proper made. So you can just go here and just literally resize a bit the bones or whatever, uh, the colliders of the bones so that the ragdoll will be nicer. But if you're using the default mannequin, uh, there will be no problem because all the colliders are perfect place. All right. So in order to do this, I'm going to go into the third person character to show you what the preview will be like. So I'm just going to say, for example, if I press J. So, for example, I press J. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drag this. I'm, I'm going to say set. set simulate physics for the mesh because in the mesh is where we have the skeleton and well basically the physics assets um, details so just go ahead and enable this and then for uh, safety purposes to not bug this uh, I'm gonna say uh, disable input and we're gonna get player oh, sorry get player controller and there we go so if i compile and save and press play you can see that now if i press j that happens and you see that the ragdoll is not properly playing this is because we need to go into the mesh and apply a different collider type. So right now in collision presets is character mesh. Well, guess which one we need to choose, ragdoll. So let's go ahead and place it, compile and save, and then press play. And still the player the colliders are, you know, being applied of course. But then if I press J, you can see that the ragdoll is properly placed. That's pretty much it guys. I mean, Maybe the bones are a bit broken right now here, but you know, you can go ahead and mess around changing, you know, the, the scale of this, um, you know, of, of this uh, colliders to be able to get the result that you're choosing and you can have a little preview on here. So it's pretty nice. So you can do this with any character that you want, of course, that is straight and has a skeleton. So yeah, every time you import it into a real engine, a character uh, normally creates a you know physic asset with its rig. But if not, you can go ahead and create one. Anyway, guys, that's it. I hope this video was simple and easy to follow. Like and subscribe and comment any more videos that you want to see on Unreal Engine 5 tutorials. So with all that said, bye bye.